the first thesis and the primary thesis which I document in this book that I just mentioned, Vedanta in Light of Christian Wisdom, the first point, uh, the, the main, the central point I document is that the eschaton of the Vedic tradition and the eschaton of the Christian tradition, both are in a way to establish a union with God. There's no question about that. That's what religion, true religion is about. But the point is that the Vedic union with God and the Christian union with God are totally different, and in fact, in a sense, they are opposite. Because the Vedic union with God, I call it the nirvanic option, because never, Buddhism and Hinduism are not totally the same, but the word nirvana, which comes from the Buddha, expresses it so as perfectly as it can be expressed. Nirvana literally means blowing out like a candle flame. And this is really what the Vedic path, the, the highest Vedic path, the Vedantic path, Advaita path, uh, accomplishes and aims to accomplish. It's a blowing out of the human. Now the point is, uh, it is a very deeply philosophical point to uh, discover that there is something in us which transcends the human. I mean, there is something called Wolfgang Smith, but uh, if you wipe that out, if a super yogi could put his hand on me and this Wolfgang Smith is gone, what would remain is the uh, Nirvikalpa Samadhi, the supreme state of the Vedantic way. The Vedantic way is nirvanic. It is a way of wiping out the merely human. It's hard to describe these things because this is, we are touching rock bottom here. We are talking about absolutely foundational things. So the Vedic path is nirvanic. In, uh, in the Vedic tradition, you speak about nirvikalpa samadhi. It is a state which very few sadhus, even in India, attain. But every now and then it is attained. And for example, in the uh, early, in the first half of the 20th century, there was a great uh, sadhu in India who had attained that Nirvikalpa Samadhi state. And I read about him when I was very young. Uh, you have photographs of him. There are people who visited him and made conversations. And the point is that from our point of view, this was a human being. We could talk to him and he could talk to us. But in reality, uh, that human side was just a facade. We think of him that way. He didn't experience himself as that. In other words, he had attained the actual eschaton of the Vedic religion. And it, there are various names, Nirvikalpa Samadhi. Uh, this is not Nirvana. This is different? It's the same, exactly the same. I'm convinced that Buddha, even though he was not organically or historically related to India, uh, not a, nevertheless, he belongs in the Vedic tradition. Uh, so that the distinction is accidental, it's not essential. So this is one eschaton. And incidentally, uh, I mean, it's, it's like Mount Everest. It's, it's too big for us to... We can say the words, but we don't really have any conception about that. You just watched a clip from the Theories of Everything channel. For the full video and all its magnificence, then click here. And if you'd like to see more, then subscribe. Enjoy.